Hey, what's going on out there? I'd like to welcome every single one of you to water your soil. So this video, I'm just going to be flowing honestly. This video is going to be about what I wish I knew about credit cards and what credit cards have taught me these past, what, eight years? But before I get into that, be sure to hit the like button. If you're watching this video right now, hit the like button. That's a way of showing support. That's supporting this channel, especially if you're a subscriber. If you're a subscriber, make sure you hit the like button to show your support. But getting into the video, I think back to like 10 years ago, I only had one credit card. It was a Best Buy credit card and I didn't have it in use. I just had a Best Buy credit card. I'm not going to lie. I got a little discouraged back then. And this was like 10 years ago. I was going through some things financially. I was going through some things overall, obviously, because that reflects back on finances as well. So I was going through some things and I wasn't using my Best Buy card because I thought back then that as long as you have a credit card, you don't really have to always use it. I thought as long as I had the credit card, the Best Buy one, that it wouldn't get canceled, but they will cancel your card without usage. So that's just a pointer for all of you out there. If you are not using your credit cards and putting at least something on it on a month to month basis or every other month basis and keeping them active, they will cancel it in small writing. They let you know that they could cancel your credit card at any time. So don't think you're entitled to these credit cards because the credit card company, they have to say so. So 10 years ago, you know, I had the Best Buy card. I wasn't using it. And my opinion on credit and credit cards was the same that it was when I was younger and in my late teens. I really didn't know much about credit. I didn't know much about credit cards. I was told to stay away from credit cards because credit cards would land you in debt. So I was told to stay away. But eventually I got to the point where I needed one. I told everyone my dealership story. If you haven't saw it yet, you could check it out on the homepage of this channel and you'll see it, how I went from poor credit to an 800 credit score. But I'm not gonna go down that road right now. So back then, you know, I didn't know much about credit. I was kind of scared of credit. I didn't even want to check my credit score because I figured like, man, my credit score is probably horrible right now. So I would never check my credit score. I would never check my credit report. And people normally do things like that until they need their credit, whether it's for an apartment or it's for a vehicle or they're trying to get a house or whatever it may be, they don't really check their credit report or credit score until they want something. And we got to get out of that mentality of not keeping up with your credit report and your credit score until you want something, especially your credit report, because you want to make sure there are not items on your credit report that could affect you both in the present and in the long run because if there are items on there that don't belong on there you need to get rid of them you know but if they're on there and you just letting time go by without checking your credit report then you're going to be in trouble that's why i like sites like credit karma Although the Credit Karma credit score, I don't really pay attention to because it's not FICO. I do pay attention to what's on their credit report because they do update their credit reports often. So that gives you TransUnion and Equifax. You could go over to Experian and sign up for Experian and you will have your Experian credit report as well. So there are ways to get your credit report. You can also get your FICO report from annualcreditreport.com. So you can do all of that, but make sure you're keeping up with your FICO score and your credit report. Those things are important. But the flashback to those 10 years, what I wish I knew back then that I know now is that credit cards aren't harmful if you know how to use them correctly. If you know how to use them correctly, they could benefit you in so many ways. You figure my life pretty much took a change as far as personal finances once I learned about credit cards and once I learned how to use credit cards the correct way and once I learned how credit cards can impact my credit score in a positive way. Because once I start seeing those small changes, it made me interested in other things in regards to credit. Basically, your credit score is how well you manage your debt. So from there, I got more interested in budgeting. Then from there, I got more interested in savings. And then from there, I got more interested in investing. And they all connect with each other, whether it's the saving, the budgeting or the investments, they all connect in some type of way. And I just wish I had that knowledge 10 plus years ago because it would have been very beneficial. 
So I make these videos for you all. I don't know your ages out there. I don't know how old you are, but the earlier you start, the better. Now it's never too late when it comes to credit. It's never too late. I have helped people in their 60s turn their credit scores around, also in their 70s, so it's never too late. No matter what age you are, as long as you're watching this video right now and you're able to apply the things that you're learning in regards to credit reports and credit scoring and credit cards, then you're still in the fight. So that's why I make these videos because I wish I would have had these type of videos around for me 10 plus years ago. But you know, it's spilt milk now. We can only focus on the present. So for those of you out there who are watching, just learn as much as you can about credit cards because they can put you in a good position because like I said, it's almost like a domino effect. If you learn how to manage credit cards the correct way, you're gonna learn about budgeting. And then from budgeting, maybe you'll learn about savings. And then from savings, you'll wanna learn about investments. They usually always connect. Sometimes they don't connect for some people because some people don't have interest in investing and some people don't have interest in savings or budgeting. But for the most part, once you conquer one of those things, the first part, managing the credit card the correct way through budgeting and being smart with your money, then you more than likely will start to become interested interested in the budgeting and the savings and things like that, which may eventually lead you to being interested in investing. I look at it like they all connect. I'm sure everyone else has their own opinion on it, but what credit cards have done for me these past eight years is supply me with an abundance of financial knowledge that I wouldn't have gained. I don't believe I would have gained it if I didn't take that step and get the secure card that started me off. And once I took that step, I've been going ever since and I've been trying to learn more and more ever since. You never stop learning when it comes to this. You never stop learning when it comes to credit cards and credit scores. If anyone thinks they know everything about credit cards and credit reports, I guarantee you they don't. It's always gonna be something out there that surprises all of us. But anyways, if you're new here and you're feeling the vibe, this is Water Your Soil. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications, that way you don't miss a future video. Also, like I said in the beginning of the video, this goes to all of you. Hit the like button, that's your way of showing support. I'm back on my grind making these regular videos. I wanted to do the other videos with getting out there in the field, going to the lounges, showing you the benefits of having credit cards, of having the Amex Platinum cards. I feel like it's important to make those type of videos. Shout out to Sledge. Sledge makes those type of videos as well. So check out Sledge channel, Sledge Ink Team. There are also a couple of other credit card people that make those type of videos as well. If you're gonna show the credit cards, make sure you show the benefits of them as well. But anyways, I appreciate that like button that you're about to hit or already hit, and I appreciate you all for watching. This is Water Your Soil, and I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right?